Hey guys, GameFan here back with another Media Nexa video, this time bringing you the pretty much the first day, like the first half day of the season 34. And I've been playing the Fire Crossbow Necromancer so far, which has been pretty fun. It's it's definitely an upgrade from uh, what it used to be. And I first of all want to showcase what this build can do so far. I'm level 119, pretty basic gear, like it's nothing special. And then we'll be transitioning to Fizz because I just got the last rune I needed for my uh, weapon rune word. And then we're going to be trying out and you can kind of have like an idea of which one you will be uh, trying out if you decide to play the new Necromancer. I want to do a little bit of a showcase. The only thing we really need is the uh, Rotmas Chosen from the reward tree and pretty much just like the fire part of the crossbow tree we don't really have pre-buffs we don't really have anything else besides that so we're just going to be going in and rolling now one thing you will notice with this build is first of all the weapon we are using has 100% uh, elemental damage no fizz meaning you won't be able to buy flinch that's a pretty big thing with this build is cannot rely on life leech, you need to go for life after each kill, which is going to be given to you, and through potions. Potions are massively buffed for this character, they last like 15 seconds or, or how much. If you run out of potions or just are not fast enough, you don't really have to sustain against single target, which I feel like is an issue, at least for me. The way I like to play is just I run into a pack of enemies, start attacking and let my life leech carry me, and I'm 120, which means I should be... I should be doing my dungeons. The lack of single target damage. Single target is really bad. I really like the the clear speed with this. Like the area you can clear with this is absolutely amazing. I had a fantastic time leveling. It was pretty fast, I would say. But um, yeah, the single target is something that's that's kind of big for me. Once a build you are playing that doesn't have a single target, it it really feels and it feels really bad put a bunch of points into strength because that's what essentially we need and then we're just going to be putting on some pretty basic fizz gear now the two things that i have is a tartarus rune word which is going to be your fizz weapon and an arrow one rune word which is going to be your chest place chest chest place chest piece now you can also be using dragon heart it really depends on which one you would like i went with uh, air one because of the fizz res and the uh, percent strength but um pretty much anything else is viable you can also just be using like something like this with a bunch of resistances and just go with the crafted stuff do we need the effigy max yes we max effigy get one point into talent hold and the rest into rothmas chosen Okay, I feel like this should be should be good, right? Okay, we get our dude out. So let's try the same thing. I feel like I have, besides that, I have everything else. And uh, yeah, let's let's start rolling. Okay, the action is much more visible. We have much active way of actually healing ourselves. It feels nice to see if we get into a bigger pack of enemies how it will feel. But I, I, I already have I already have a feeling that this will beat the fire variation. The AoE clear seems a bit slower, if I can be completely honest. I probably would have already got through this pack of enemies. Oh yeah, look at that damage. That damage is much better. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I wanted. And I died because I stood in the defender. Arrow Nova. <laughs> Whatever. This build is lacking a lot of items like this. It's super basic, mostly. It's just tailored into the into the fire version. I don't even have a Windwalker. Uh, wind, wind Runner, that is. It's a huge rune word for the the physical variation and just any any attack builds pretty much but i feel like the fizz is much better i've heard early on it's not that good but um, i don't know anything about that early on i was having the time of my life with the fire one with catapult shot 
and debilitating concoction just insanely slowing everyone down. It's 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 crazy how how far that slow can go. But um, I feel like I'll be sticking into phase version and just trying to min max this. Um, but yeah, that was my first half day, pretty much. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you find it actually actually useful. If you have anything to, um, that you want to ask or just pretty much anything related to the new season, to Median Exile, to whatever, just feel free to leave it in the comments. And until the next video, guys, see you later. Bye.